What's up everybody, Frost here. Today we're taking a look at Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, also known as Sonic 06. But this time we're doing the Project 06 version. So for those of you who don't know, Project 06 is a an improved version of Sonic 2006 made by Chaos X who is a very talented, very skilled developer. But essentially, this is an attempt to fix most of the issues that plagued the original Sonic 06 and made it next to an unplayable piece of garbage. So, we're gonna be going through it and playing the stages. We're gonna start with Sonic. Let's get going. And we're gonna hit Wave Ocean and just go down the list. So let's do it. I've got to hurry and save Elise. Notice you can start the stage without being cursed by a deadly loop. And even right from the start, you notice the controls are much fl more fluid and much smoother than the original. Oops. There you are, camera. But yeah, controls are way better, game looks way better, and it's just a lot smoother in general. And it just makes you think about what Sonic 06 could have been. Because I personally think 06 could have been the best game in the entire series. Not just one of the best, but the best. But its potential, unfortunately, was never fully realized due to being rushed. But this updated version sort of gives us a sneak peek into what it could have been. So it's really exciting. And it's really cool to play through. This is probably my fourth time playing through this now. And I still think it's a lot of fun each time. If I find the one issuing orders to kid, I can defeat everyone at once. And besides making the game look better, obviously, there's loads of quality of life improvements to it as well. Such as animations. Especially animation, since the original Sonic 06 has some janky as fuck animations. And now we get to play as gaming's most useless sidekick. I mean Tails. And yeah, Tails' flight isn't complete garbage in this game, since he still gets tired, but he can fly more than 5 feet before getting tired. And also, the gauge in the bottom right allows you to actually see when he's tired, so you aren't screwed where you'll just plummet into the abyss without knowing what the hell's going on. So that's nice and fruity. And his dummy ring bombs are nice, even though they make it impossible sometimes when you want to collect real rings. And off we go into the first mock speed section. And the mock speed sections are actually fun in this version of the game. I say as I face plant directly into a pillar. But the mock speed sections are actually fun in this version of the game because you can actually control your control yourself. Shaky on the bridge right there. But yeah, controls much better, plays much better, and it's actually fun if you could believe it. Am I gonna fly off this loop? No. It actually is possible to fly off that loop and die if you hit it too far to the right. Let's see, did I get an S rank? B. Awesome. Police, hold on tight. Our first carrying 
perpetual Eggman hostage, Elise. As usual, you have the aura that will save you from sinking into the sand on the spot. In the original 06, I think the carrying Elise stages were probably the worst. But here, I don't think they're that bad. They're not too long, and they don't handicap your moveset too much. So, I think they're pretty good overall. Not my favorite stages of all of them, but I think they're pretty good. Oh my damn. It's like, let me jump game shit. Damn it. Or just homing attack it to death, whichever comes first. These platforms, I still cheese. Because you can still stand on the lip of the platform itself. Or the lip of the thing the platform extends out of. You don't have to stand on the platform itself, so it's super easy to cheese that part. Fuck all of you. Boom. Done. I'm so happy. This is a pretty cold place for a base. That it is, Sonic. Press and hold the A button as long as you can, and release it right at the jump ramp. Oh yeah, and in this version of the game, the snowboarding is actually, you know, doable. Since Sonic actually maintains his momentum when he goes downhill. So, it's actually possible to go more than two miles an hour, unlike in the original game when you were basically stuck in place the whole time. I always get my compass, my internal compass, screwed up during the... oh. Yeah. Dead. Because I hit left thinking I'm gonna go one way, but I go the other way. It's so trippy. Like, <laughs> oh my god. I have no sense of direction, I'm sorry, I apologize. Boom. That jump is epic. Yeah. More epic when you go straight through the door instead of slamming into the wall first. Tails is truly best boy, was just casually waiting there the entire time for Sonic to show up. Classic, I can't do anything without you. Just leave it to me. Do I have a choice, Tails? But Tails isn't a pain in the ass to play in this version, so leaving it to him isn't really too awful. I'm not sure if I needed to even take those specific ones out, but I did just in case. Maybe it did, I don't know. Oh shit. Oh, I just dummy sniped his missile out of the air. That was nice. Yeah, wait, let me just grab the switch before I die. I have no rings. Give me those. Boom. I think I haven't been seen by a single searchlight yet, so kudos. Nothing up here. Oh, 
Let's see what we have. Five. Oh, shit. This way, I'm assuming. It looks like it's equipped with heavy weapons. But those legs look pretty fragile. For as many times as I've played this, I really shouldn't know the routes, but I still forget them just as easily. Over and across here, and we should be good to go. Ow. Bing. Did I get an S rank? Yes. That was incredible. See, I'm capable of playing video games half decently. 